The opportunity for developers in the blockchain industry is absolutely insane. So many companies are trying to build the next wave of blockchain-based applications, and they all need developers to pull this off. And that's a big problem because there's a huge developer shortage. But that problem is actually a good thing for you if you're watching this channel because that means it's a big opportunity to provide these services to these companies and become highly paid, even despite the recent crypto market downturn that we've seen. And this video, I'm going to talk about the top skills that these companies are looking for in the industry and how to learn them. Okay, I'm going to talk about this as someone with experience on every single side of this problem as being a freelancer, working a regular developer job, and now also hiring developers myself. So I've got a really good pulse on what they're looking for. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. And I've helped thousands and thousands of people become real-world blockchain developers with the exact methods that I'm teaching you in this video. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's jump into this. Let's talk about the hottest skills that Web 3.0 companies are looking for, the ones that are in the most demand. Now, also a really quick announcement. You know, if you want to land one of these high paying blockchain jobs, then the Dappy Diversity Blockchain Bootcamp is the best way to learn these in demand skills as fast as possible. You know, whether you're an experienced developer already or a complete beginner. And I'm super excited to launch the new and improved version of the Blockchain Bootcamp 2.0 on July 14th. So make sure you sign up to the link down below if you're trying to become a blockchain developer in 2022. So, one really quick thing you have to clarify when you're talking about the top in demand skills for blockchain developers is what is a blockchain developer in the first place? Because that can mean a lot of things. It can mean a smart contract developer. It can mean a front-end developer, back-end developer, core developer. You know, what kind of job should you shoot for and what skills should you learn? Well, I think for most people breaking into the industry, the best strategy is to give you the skills that give you the most flexibility and the most options. And that basically means prioritizing certain skills and learning other skills as secondary skills after that. That's going to give you the flexibility to determine, you know, what you want to learn later when you want to specialize. So let's start off with the first major priority, which is the number one hottest skill that every blockchain developer should know, regardless of whatever track you take, is smart contract development. The reason that I put this as the number one skill is because ultimately, this is what sets you apart from other developers. If you understand how to create smart contracts, then you definitely understand how blockchains work and you understand how to work with them. Even if you want to do some other type of development, this is what's going to give you that value that other developers are not going to have outside the box. And also the reason I put this as number one is theoretically, if if you just knew how to create smart contracts, like technically you are a blockchain developer and technically you don't really have to learn another language to provide value in the workplace, although you're probably going to want to, which I'll talk about here in a minute. And so what did you learn if you're going to become a smart contract developer? Well, there's, of course, a few different tracks that you could possibly take. All right. There's two basic tracks, which is the EVM compatible track and then something like uh, you know Solana, which uses Rust. So let me kind of break that down. So EVM, what does that stand for? It's for Ethereum Virtual Machine. And really that means uh, smart contracts for the Ethereum platform and other blockchains that work like Ethereum. So the main programming language used there is definitely Solidity, all right? And Solidity by far is the most in-demand programming language for blockchain developers. If you know Solidity, that's a highly, highly lucrative uh, coveted skill, and that's going to set you apart in the workplace, Okay. So the other track, definitely. And, oh, and also, you know, with Solidity, you have so many options. You don't have to choose it on Ethereum. You can use it on the other EVM compatible chains like Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, et cetera, et cetera. It gives you lots of flexibility. So if you know one programming language, you can, you can work for multiple blockchains. So the other track is definitely something like, you know, Solana or Rust. Um, I, I tend to push people towards Solidity because it's generally easier for beginners to learn as opposed to something like Rust. And there's a ton of demand in the marketplace, even more so than for Rust programming languages. And another thing I'll say about learning Solidity as a blockchain skill is one of the most frequently asked questions I get is, should I learn blockchain programming first or should I learn some other programming language before I start doing blockchain? And my, my opinion on this has actually changed over time. And my current opinion is that you should learn blockchain first. I was actually forced to change that opinion because I've helped so many people actually learn this way and then you know break in the industry and get developer jobs by starting off with smart contract development. The best way to learn is to focus on the most important thing first, which is blockchain development with Solidity, and then learn the other programming languages as you go. So that takes me to the next point. What are the other things that you should know if you want to become a blockchain developer? Like I said before, if you just learn Solidity, like technically you are a blockchain developer, you could theoretically get a job that way, okay? But I highly recommend picking a second uh, skill set or second programming language because it's going to help you maybe do some other jobs. Again, you could do, you know, blockchain development as a smart contract developer only, or you could become a full stack developer, you know, uh, front end developer, et cetera, et cetera. And having the extra programming language is going to give you that versatility. 
So even if you're just a smart contract developer, you're probably going to want to have a secondary programming language for testing smart contracts, writing scripts, and building user interfaces that talk to the smart contracts themselves, okay? So the really common options here are like JavaScript and Python, okay? Now, you know, which one should you choose? Well, it really depends on your goals. But if you don't know exactly what your goals are and you just need a recommendation, then I highly recommend choosing JavaScript be for several reasons. Number one, you can do more with it. And really, that's the that's the biggest reason, okay? Python and JavaScript are both pretty beginner-friendly languages, but JavaScript definitely has the capability of building user interfaces. It's widely used across the web. And so, you know, if you want to build smart contracts where you can build websites that talk to them, then, you know, knowing JavaScript and a good JavaScript framework like React.js or something similar is going to give you a lot of mileage. And if you want to become a back-end developer, you can also know JavaScript and, you know, code server-side applications. You can write advanced back-end scripts with JavaScript. It's kind of the lingua franca of the web anyway, and so you're going to have all this flexibility to move in and out of other developer skills. And JavaScript's going to work out of the box with most smart contract development frameworks. So that's one reason it's also really good to know as a blockchain developer, because if you're creating smart contracts and you do things like write tests and you use a framework like Hardhat, it's going to support you know JavaScript out of the box to do all those secondary functionalities, okay? You're also going to be able to write, you know, uh, app applications that interface the blockchain with Ethers.js. This is the most popular, you know, app, you know, libraries for uh, interacting with the blockchain uh, with JavaScript as well. And so what should you learn if you don't know what to do? Because at the beginning of this video, I was talking about there's different types of developers. There's, you know, smart contract developer, there's full stack developer, there's core developer, all that stuff. You know, what, what should you choose if you don't know exactly how you want to specialize? Well, I would highly recommend choosing the full stack development route. This is where you focus on creating smart contracts and Solidity programming language as your top priority. But then you have this secondary skill where you can actually create user interfaces uh, with those smart contracts. This has a lot of benefits because you'll be able to create an entire application standalone on your own, a real world project that you can use to land a blockchain job. And then you're going to have some extra versatile skills that are going to be required inside the workplace. And you'll know a second programming language like JavaScript to perform other types of software development tasks that you're going to ultimately need to learn on the job. Because that's the whole strategy. You don't need to become an expert before you get your blockchain job. You just need to be good enough to get your foot in the door. And that's that's the exact skill set that I recommend if you don't know exactly what you want to do. All right, so let's talk about the best way to learn these skills. Well, definitely the blockchain bootcamp is the fastest way to master real world blockchain skills and break into the blockchain industry. And that's why I'm super excited to launch the blockchain bootcamp 2.0 on July 14th. So inside the bootcamp, you know, you're going to learn all these skills that I'm talking about. You're going to learn how to create smart contracts and build a real world application. And then you're also going to learn JavaScript ins and outs to build an advanced user interface for these smart contracts and create this real world application so that you can be a full stack blockchain developer and be job ready. So like here's an example of the capstone project that we create inside of here. This is a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange that works out in the wild. You can actually see it's deployed live to a blockchain here. So you'll learn how to create the exchange smart contracts, you'll learn how to create real world cryptocurrencies that are supported on this cryptocurrency exchange. You can do things like actually, you know, buy cryptocurrency and sell it on the exchange. And here it is deployed live to the web. And so throughout the bootcamp, you're gonna learn all the fundamental skills that you need, all the conceptual knowledge you need to become a blockchain developer, and then also all the hands-on skills, you know, learning Solidity by creating a real-world application, learning JavaScript, React.js, Ethers.js, Hardhat, all the in-demand skills by building a real world project. And then you can use that real world project to put it in a portfolio. And then once you've got that portfolio, that's the time to go out and start applying for jobs and show people that you have those skills and that you can create a project like this, you know, completely on your own. Because that's the whole thing is how do you get a job with that experience? Well, you get that experience outside the workplace. And this is exactly how. And the other great thing about this project is it's at a professional level. So if you've seen any other free tutorials on my YouTube, you know, homepage or anything like that, you know, those are more like kind of beginner level projects where you can get in and learn the basics of the programming languages. But this actually takes things to the next step by learning real world blockchain skills like you'd be asked to perform inside of a workplace. And that's exactly what the blockchain bootcamp is designed to do is to give you those professional skills so that you can break into the industry. And so if you want to become a real world blockchain developer in 2022, like I've helped thousands and thousands of other people do, then make sure you mark your calendar for July 14th and sign up with the link down below over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp for the blockchain bootcamp 2.0 launch event. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. And you need to sign up soon before the event starts. And you need to re-enter your email even if you signed up on that page before because this is something totally new. So that's all I got for today. You know, as always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.